Hi, how are you? So instead of going to a long text field full email, I decided to shoot this video and show you what what I was doing at the time with the with the exponential technologies during the keynotes. What happened was I was invited to to give a keynote to a meeting of alumni from the Jack Welsh Management Institute, you know, the Jack Welsh MBA in the US. And I had two restrictions. One was that the event was organized by them. So I would probably not have the access to the leads, you know, to the, the participants. And the second one was that it was going to happen in a public space. And although they had several screens, they didn't allow me to, to share anything on the screens. So I was like, wow, how am I going to do that, you know? But you know, thanks God, restriction is the mother of creativity. So I started to look up for, for some technologies. The first thing I did was I used this little device, which is a beacon, which is part of the IoT revolution, you know? And I put a message inside this beacon with access to a... Actually, this beacon was, was uh, guiding people to a landing page where they needed to fill a form. And with this form filled, I was sending them uh, a material, an extra material from, from what I was uh, presenting in the, in the keynote. And this was pretty cool back then when I did. Google had the native support for Google Nearby on Androids, so you didn't need app or anything on Android. So it was an amazing experience, you know, you put this on, they were turn it on, uh, people would automat automatically uh, receive the message. It was pretty cool. But then Google blocked it on, on December, so it's not very mainstream right now, you know. Uh, one of the alternatives, if you're joining a big event, Usually these big events, they have their own apps and maybe you can lobby with the organizers to have uh, a beacon friendly app. Uh, this would allow you to still use the beacon to get keynotes, uh, to get leads and, and give some more interaction into the, into the keynote. The second thing I did concerning the, the restriction of having all presentations was to use augmented reality. And what I did was I built, unfortunately, I don't have any examples, so I'm going to show you what I did. Instead of building a, a PowerPoint presentation, I built like a small sheet like this that you can open like this, you know, in three, I folded it in three parts. And on each one of the sheets, like on top and at the bottom, you know, here, here and here, I would have the title of the content I was presenting, you know? I was talking about the 6D framework, I was talking about Moore's Law, etc. And that w it was like blank, only the title and, and the code to, to a specific app that makes uh, augmented reality. And people would get their smartphones, they would scan and the content would show up here on augmented reality. It was pretty cool, you know? People were crazy about it. There was pictures, uh, text flying by and charts showing up. It was pretty, pretty cool, pretty in intense. And people were, were like, they were amazed, you know, they were like, wow, that, that is so cool. And, and although they're, those are really uh, stupid and simple examples, they really clicked on, on people's minds, you know, and they started to see uh, connections and inspirations for their own businesses, you know. The, the the public was from from VPs to to real estate brokers, so there was a huge uh, range of people uh, attending those those keynotes. And I've been doing that since then. I've been doing this uh, regularly, you know, especially the augmented reality. Uh, so I hope it helped uh, with augmented reality. Of course, you can go to a complicated level which I don't have the ability with 3D and, and all this stuff but you know just to give them a sense of all of the potential of the technology you put just your your I don't know texts and videos and photos etc is already pretty cool 
And another thing that you can do with augmented reality is that you can put uh, links or buttons in, 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 the, in the paper, you know, in the augmented reality paper, and they can interact with the buttons. So at the bottom here, uh, at the end of, of, the, of the page, I had like my LinkedIn page, my Facebook, my email, and you can even customize it, you know, if people click on my email, there, there was already a uh, subject for, for the email, which is, you know, very cool. People were, they were mind blown, you know. Uh, one alternative that I've, I'll start to use uh, from next week on a, on a keynote I'll be giving uh, for the Beacon is to use the Messenger chatbot. So I'm building a flow in Facebook Messenger with a free tool to build like auto automatic flow on, on chatbots and you have a you have like your your own tag your own code so what i do is if i'm projecting i put this on on, on a powerpoint slide or if i'm using the augmented reality i put it here you can scan uh your you can put your own code it's like your personal qr code and people can scan once they scan they start the conversation you know which is pretty cool too because you sh you're showing the power of chatbots ai etc so these are some of the ideas i've been working on with with uh, keynotes and if you need my help count on me you know i'm here to help you